This morning's reading is from the Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman. Mark Twain once said, I can live for two months on a good compliment. If we take Twain literally, six compliments a year would keep us emotionally full. One way to express love emotionally is to use words that build up. Solomon, author of the ancient Hebrew wisdom literature, wrote, The tongue has the power of life and death. And he continued, An anxious heart weighs a man down, but a kind word cheers him up. Verbal compliments or words of appreciation are powerful communicators of love. They are best expressed in simple, straightforward statements of affirmation such as, You look especially great today. You have a beautiful smile. I appreciate your friendship. The object of love is not getting something you want, but doing something for the well-being of the one you love. It is, in fact, that when we receive affirming words, we are more likely to be motivated to reciprocate. Giving verbal compliments is only one way to express words of affirmation. Another dialect is encouraging words. The word encourage means to inspire courage. All of us have areas in which we feel insecure. We lack carriage, courage, and the lack of courage often hinders us from accomplishing the positive things that we would like to do. You have the power to awaken the latent potential within another person simply through your encouraging words. The deepest human need is the need to be appreciated. Words of affirmation will meet that need. Do you believe that? That you can achieve what you believe? Yes. Absolutely. It always reminds me of what Wayne Dyer says. You'll see it when you believe it. And I love that. The first time I read that, I had to read it a couple times, right? What do you mean I'll see it when I believe it? And it makes perfect sense now. And I love that idea. The other question I have for you is this. Do you believe that words can have a great impact on you, on someone else, and on your life? Yes. Absolutely. They can actually, words can actually change the way we think. They can actually change the way we view life, changes our perspective. It heals lives. Words are incredibly powerful, especially when they're spoken because we have our energy and our vibration all behind that. So, double-edged sword, right? Words can be like hugs, and words can also be like pins pricking at your body, depending on what's said. Is that true? Yes. Yeah. yes. One, and, and Sue had read this too, one of the deepest needs for human beings is the need, the desire to be appreciated, to be loved. And affirmative words can create that when we give them away. When we give away compliments, for instance. Unsolicited compliments can mean the absolute world to someone, right? If you don't know, or even if you do know, that somebody's having a really tough time and you say something really kind, have you seen that change somebody? I mean, almost immediately, right? Because that compliment was unsolicited. And hearing the words, I love you, or hearing the words, you matter to me, those are really important things to say to people. We all like to hear that, don't we? <clears throat> hearing the reasons behind those compliments can be especially powerful <coughs> to someone. I love you because. You're important to me because. It doesn't really matter the reason, but people really do thrive to hear that. If you hear a compliment, it can make your day. At a, you know, if you're just having a crummy day, and someone says something really nice to you, that can make your day can make your week. Or if you're Mark Twain and you hear it six times in a year, it'll make your whole year. 
I would like to believe that six times isn't near enough, but, <laughs> but that's okay. So kind words, good words, compliments can change our life and make it better. The opposite is true as well. Unkind words, insults, those tend to really sting. They tend to really hurt, don't they? And for some darn reason, we hold on to those. We keep those a lot longer. I want to give away a couple compliments. I do. Meg, you are loved by many. Mm -hmm. Jean, thank you for inspiring me. Susie, you light up a room. <laughs> Sue, I'd like to hear you laugh. <laughs> Anita, you make me feel loved. Did you, did you feel the energy in the room change? Wasn't that beautiful? How did that make you feel? Absolutely wonderful. Jean. Wonderful. Anita. Yeah, Meg. Sue. Doesn't it just change? Now, none of them knew I was going to do that. Nobody knew that. And I could feel the room change, not just with them, with everybody. And how beautiful is that? And you have the power to do that every single day of your life. So what I'm going to do is this. These are free compliments. Okay? They're free. What does that mean? It means I'm going to give them to you. And that means don't hang on to them. Right? Give them away. So I'm going to pass these around. And if you didn't get one, I'm hoping I have enough. If you didn't get one, I want you to take it from the bottom so you can't see it. And just know that that one's for you. Okay? So we'll pass those around while I yap. <laughs> That verbal appreciation <laughs> speaks so loudly to people, doesn't it? We all felt, for a brief moment at least, what they felt. Compliments verbally expressed, simple words of appreciation, encouraging words, kind words, humble words. They're all ways to show love. Did you get the right one? Is that what I'm hearing over here? You got the right one you needed? What'd you get? I got you are inspirational. That's beautiful. Did you feel it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Good. Every time I hear a, oh, no, I'm going to stop. Sometimes all a person needs to feel loved is to hear a good, kind word. Isn't that the truth? Doesn't that change your mood sometimes? Always remember that kind words can really go a long way. It has the power to change relationships in a very deep and a very lasting way. Words have the power to heal lives, to change our perspective on how we see life. Many people have unrealized potential. And in many cases, in cases, as, as Sue had read, that whole, the only thing holding them back from reaching that potential is their lack of encouragement. And we've seen that time and time again here at Common Ground with different musicians, with different artists. I'm not pointing anywhere. You, you hear, right? You hear, when a person continually hears, you really are an excellent Musician, you really are a fabulous artist. You really do have the ability. And they're supported and they're encouraged. It changes things. And then they can realize that potential that is lying within them. Affirmative words can absolutely provide that encouragement people need. Now, the key to using 
the words of affirmation are to be clear and to be sincere. That isn't hard. By saying something wonderful, kind to somebody, you might even be helping them to reinforce a very difficult decision in their life just by being there, by supporting them. You might be acknowledging their talents, their skills, their abilities. You could be bringing out some positive aspect to something new that they've decided to try and haven't yet reached that potential, reached that goal that they were trying to achieve, but you, you can be that inspiration behind it. You can be that person to encourage. You can use your words to inspire and acknowledge a, a person's unique perspective on a topic that might be really important to them. You can be that catalyst. <clears throat> when we express affirmative words, those words can potentially be monumental and life-changing for somebody. Maybe it will help them move through insecurities. Maybe it will help assist in developing that self-confidence that they're striving to attain. Gary Chapman in the book um, describes words of affirmation as verbal support to communicate love. And that's what it's all about anyway, right? Love. We talked about that at the very beginning this morning. It's all about love. And he said there are three different ways that we can use these words of affirmation. The first one is kind words. And that is about offering compliments. You look great today. I'm really glad you're my friend. I'm really thrilled to have you join us. Things that boost confidence, that show appreciation. And then there are encouraging words. Literally meaning to inspire courage. And it entails things like, you're so strong and I really admire that. Your written word is so powerful that you ought to look at getting published. Those things are encouraging. And people want to continue doing what it is they're doing and get better. Kind words emphasize not just what you say, but how you say it. Have you ever heard someone say to you, I love you, but the intonation did not mean, I love you, <laughs> right? Or have you ever woken up and said, good, God, it's morning, as opposed to, good God, it's morning. <laughs> there are different intonations that can really change the meaning. People often underestimate the power of, of kind words. And when we're stressed, when we're tired, it's real important at that particular point in time to pause and to realize that using kind words is a much more loving and respectful way to be than a little agitated and aggravated. When we can, we always want to choose to be loving and kind. And in humble words, he says, the phrase, he uses this phrase, I love it, love makes requests, not demands. And that's something that Chapman really emphasizes. Because its purpose is to encourage and to preserve a person's well-being and help open them up to the possibilities of awakening that dormant potential within. Now, as I talk about this, it's not just that dormant potential within someone else. It's that dormant potential within you as well, because we all have that. Now, affirmations are one of the most powerful ways that we can create, raise our vibration to attract that which we want in our life. The thoughts we think, the words we use, those are all affirmations. So, and I really want you to think about that, because our thoughts and our words are declarations of who we think we are 
and how we perceive the world. When you think a negative thought or you make those self-deprecating comments, not that any of you would, would ever do something like that, what I want you to think about, though, if it slips, is that you're actually affirming that as your own personal truth. And you don't want to do that. I'm not good enough. I, I can't do that. Those things... We want to get rid of them. We want to let those all those things go. Excuse me. But the good news is this. We're also affirming our own personal truth when we say those things about ourselves that we do like, that we do appreciate. Those stick with us as well. I can do this. I am a good person. I am a giving person. I am a loving person. We're then affirming that truth Positive wow. affirmations can be a powerful means of personal transformation. And let's face it, we're all trying to be more of who we truly are, are we not? We all want to be better. We all want to be more. And with our affirmations, it's a, a key element in creating the life that we want to have, the life that we want to experience day in and day out. And affirmations, the way they work is the idea here is to purposely replace those limiting ideas that we have, the negative beliefs, the self, um, the self talk that goes on up here. Not enough, not enough, not enough. We're trying to replace all those things. And sometimes, in many cases, it's been several years since we've had that going on, right? But we want, and we want to switch that out with those positive statements and assert who we want to be and how we want to be and how we want to experience life. When we use affirmations, we want to consciously create positive, self-affirming, self-empowering statements. Those statements that will uplift us, that will inspire us, that will raise our emotional set points. We want to feel good. A lot of words come to mind. Trust. What a beautiful word to use. I trust myself. I trust life. I trust the universe. I trust my decisions. That is really a beautiful affirmation. Faith. I have faith in myself. I have faith in life. I have faith in doing the right thing. I have courage. I move forward in my life with courage. I have the power of choice. I always have the power of choice. Wisdom is another one. I've got, I have inner wisdom. I trust my wisdom to guide me. I respect and I heed my own wisdom. I speak my truth. I live my truth. I honor my truth. And I listen to my truth. Those are powerful words, aren't they? I am love. I have love. I feel love. I believe in love. Love guides me, love carries me through this life, and love is always with me. Those are all really great statements to carry around with us, to keep in our back pocket, if you will. And every time you feel yourself scared, worried, concerned, doubtful, use those words. Whenever you feel overwhelmed, confused, lonely, use those words. That's what they're there for. And really, really important, even when you feel good and life is rolling along just perfectly, use them then too. You know why? Because at that point, you are then affirming the truth and it is really residing within you. It's reinforcing that which you already know. That, who you, that which you are. That calm, happy, 
beautiful, brilliant being. And when you do that, you cannot help but be that calm, happy, beautiful, radiant being. Because that is truly who you are. Practice using kind, loving, affirmative words. Not just for others, but for yourself. And do that in particular over the next few days. Just to really get familiar and comfortable with it. Because we're going to be working with those affirmations at our New Year's Eve service. If you've been before, you know that what we do is we write our letters of intention for 2014. And in those letters, we are affirming how we intend our life to be. And we want to be clear. We don't want to say, I don't want to be sick. Instead, we want to say, I want to be healthy. Make sense? We want to affirm what we do want, not what we don't want. Because sometimes that turns around and bites us. <clears throat> so I want to close with this thought. <clears throat> Today will never come again. Be a friend. Be a blessing. Encourage somebody. <clears throat> take time to care. And use your words to heal. Thank you so much for being here. Well, I shared this truth as I understand it.